My high school story for the family and school. As I just mentioned, my story begins in grade school. Of course, I wasn't born in grade school. It's just where this particular story starts. Anywho, school for me was never, ever a picnic. It wasn't that I didn't get along with my other classmates. Hello, fellow student. What is your name? <laughs> Ow. Or even the teacher didn't like me. Hey, pick me. Hey, over here. Pick me. Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. No, it was never any of that stuff. It was always that I just didn't grasp the concept of what I was trying to learn. This inability to grasp the concept of what was being taught wasn't even the worst of my problems. The fact that I didn't get what was being taught the first time it was taught to me transformed me into what teachers called a trouble student. And because I was considered a trouble student, I was soon placed on the back burner, so to speak. Ow, ow, ow. Of course, I wasn't literally placed on a burner and left high and dry. No, instead I was placed in a special class whose teacher, for some reason, treated me like I didn't know the difference between a spoon and a fork. One week after I joined that special class, I invited a good friend of mine over to enjoy the ever-classy recreational event known worldwide as video games. Somewhere between an overweight plumber and a mystical four full of ghosts, the subject of how horrible our school was just happened to surface. My friend, who just happened to attend the same school as me, was far from hesitant to share his opinion on our local educational establishment. After a couple great hours of gaming and chewing of the proverbial fat, I was quick to discover that my good friend had tried to change schools, but was unsuccessful because of her reluctant parents. This particular bit of information was news to me as I didn't think it was all at all possible to switch schools. As you can imagine, this eventually led to an extremely interesting conversation with my mother. But being the understanding person she is, my mother let me change schools. So after several heated arguments with the school and a ton of paperwork, I was sent to a completely different educational environment with a brand new school completely new teachers, and a host of new opportunities for a better education. Consider yourself lucky you're even being welcomed into the school. At least this is what my new teacher had declared after reading my file once I was accepted. Apparently, I was so behind that I was practically still in grade school. I'm joking, it wasn't that bad, but it was enough to cast a dark shadow over my hopes of ever getting caught up. But amazingly enough, my new teacher said, although it would be hard to pull off, I could still probably get myself caught up at least enough to pass by the time the Cassie came around. For those who don't know what the Cassie is, well, that is to be expected. This monstrosity of a test was implemented only recently, and it caused quite a stir in the educational community. At least, that's what I heard. By that I mean some teachers loved it, others didn't. Anyways, Cassie stands for California High School Exit Exam, and for people that are behind in schoolwork, like myself at the time, this particular test was a very bad thing. The reason why it was so bad was, in a nutshell, if you don't pass this test, you're staying in high school till you can pass it. As you can imagine, the thought of being left behind, even in a new school, was extremely frightening for someone who's been through so much to get to where he was. So my new teacher and several specialized tutors worked day after day with me. Half of my day was spent learning everything that my old school didn't teach me, and the rest of the day comprised of learning everything that was required of someone in high school. Despite how good my new school was at teaching me all this information, it was still a horrible experience trying to learn everything at once. It was horrible. I saw numbers and letters in my dreams for months. After what seemed like forever, the day of the Cassie test unfortunately came. I remember that day as if it were yesterday. It was really cold that day. And the fog was so thick I could barely see the parking lot from where myself and 30 other students were placed for the big test. I was completely freaked out that day. My palms were sweating and I was incredibly nervous. I found myself playing with a pencil or drinking abnormal amounts of water provided as I waited for everyone to get settled down. It was interesting as it seemed that none of my fellow students that day shared my particular feelings about the importance of the test. 
After everyone was settled down, we listened to a lengthy speech from the teacher about the importance of this test, something I was already quite familiar with. We were then told to begin the test. I took my soggy number two pencil and broke the back slip holding back cheaters. The contents of this most evil test was your average run-of-the-mill, fill-in-the-bubble kind of test. But it was the questions that gave this test its power, and boy was the first question a doozy. It was an algebra-related question, and I was never that great at algebra. To make matters worse, I didn't know the answer. I sat there for minutes on end, arguing back and forth with my own brain about the answer. I felt my mind begin to wander off. I started having doubts about my ability to answer the questions, and for some reason the clock's constant ticking began to annoy me. I was about to lose it when suddenly I remembered. It was a miracle. I had actually remembered something that was taught to me. Let me tell you, at that moment I was overjoyed with the fact that I was able to retain any information. And it got better. I answered each question one after another, only stopping for water or to do some kind of problem on a paper. And before I knew it, the test had been completed. We got the results for the test in the mail months later. It took me a long time to open that envelope. As to tell you the truth, I was afraid of what it might say. But after a bunch of motivation from my mother in the form of a hug, I finally gained the courage to open it up. It was then that I learned my fate. I had passed. And believe it or not, I passed with honors. I cannot express how happy I was that day. Because for the first time in my life, I actually felt that I was caught up. And for once, I actually was. And well, that's my story. Do 